Hey gang, D Tidwell, Enduro MTB Training. It's that time of week. It's Mo, where we're mowing you down with information to help you be the best rider you can be. So there. Today, uh, we're going to talk about a squat pattern. Real simple like. We all know the importance of squats. Um, they are perfect. Got to put this uh, camera down. For assessing and creating ankle dorsiflexion, which is the ability to use your ankles like such, knee flexion, hip hinge, thorax extension with good shoulder blade retraction and stability. Okay, we know that we all need to be good at the squat movement. So um, here's a simple one that you can do today, whether at home and or at the gym. I like it because, let's face it, we cyclists, and again, because we spend a lot of time seated at our workplace stations, get stuck in this role, rounded shoulders, <clears throat> we get nerve tension. Been talking to a lot of people about um, um, nerve tension and hand, finger, elbow, and shoulder issues as it relates to nerve issues. Um, and we always start with posture. Then we talk about soft tissue, but here, okay, is a problem. So we do our stretches to, to stretch out our chest so that we can at least have the ability to better um, retract our shoulders, okay? And to get this better T-spine or thorax extension, which helps, of course, your breathing mechanics. Real simple. Grab a plate. Here's a good one. Ones with handles are good, but at least you gotta have one that's got the ability to grab the outside of it so that you can hold on to it because we're going to place it right hither. Okay, so I'm here. I've got my elbows high. I've got my shoulder blades down and my chest up. So you can see where this good thoracic extension comes from. My shoulder girdle is stabilizing my arm, my tricep, which is good because my um, tricep does attach partially to um, the shoulder, of course, and the scapula. So this is a good scapular stability exercise, thoracic extension. Then we're able to throw in the squat move. We're gonna go about an um, inch or two wider than your shoulders and belly comes in. Keep that chest up. These don't move. They can actually sit and hold. You can squeeze your head if you'd like and you're going into the squat move like such and then back up. So let's start with like a 303 count where you go one, two, three, one, two, three. Start with 10 reps for beginners. Of course, you can go into a little bit quicker. One, two, one, hold, one, two. Same thing, maybe 12 reps, 15 reps. Uh, and you keep working up in how much weight too. So obviously from here, you go down to a 10 or you go down to a five pound plate or you go up to a 35 or a 45 pound plate. Um, so be smart with this, by the way. If it hurts your elbows, then choose a different exercise. Maybe you take a dumbbell and you put it back here instead because it won't create as much elbow stretch. So side view, chest is up, head's neutral, belly's in, butt goes back first, knees bend, back stays flat, come back up, squeeze those glutes, okay? So overall, this is a great little exercise. <sighs> yeah, that just fell. Good thing it wasn't on my toes. But I like to call this kind of like a backpack squat. You know, it's very scientific in nature, of course, backpack squat. But um, good ankle mobility, good knee flexion, good hip flexion, Good T-spine extension, good neutral head, um, helps with overall posture um, and really helps you work through um, being a better squatter because uh, if you're not a good squatter, it will be difficult for you to, to achieve optimal uh, positions on your bike, particularly when it pertains to downhilling and cornering. So work on that. Hope you guys have a great week. I think tomorrow is Christmas Day for me because I'll finally be getting my bike. And I am super, super duper stoked. My Yeti SB5 Carbon with my Shimano XTR and my Fox 36 on the front. It should be good. 
and I'm excited. So, um, like always, if we can help you in any way, info at enduromtbtraining.com. Uh, check out our products at enduromtbtraining.com, whether it's personal coaching, our 90-day, which, by the way, is still a great product for now, and then our 60-day, or excuse me, our six-month, for those of you down under to start your training now for your season coming up here soon. So you guys have a great week. We'll talk to you uh, next week for the next chapter of the movement of the week. Moo. Bye-bye.